Hello everybody and welcome back to the Daskar Pokemon Pro Series. We're here in Twin Ring Montegi for the running of the Target Indie Japan 300. And on the poll today we have the 19 of Max Skinner. There were big news in last race by the way in, in Calder Park. The Australian born driver Zach Fitzwater took the win in his home country. He made his country proud. He took the win in his home track. And that sure made a lot of his native fans in Australia happy. And now Pichu has the chance to maybe try to repeat that for his native Japan. And he's going to start near in the rear of the field today at Twin Ring. We're back to racing once again here at the Twin Ring Montegi Green Flag. Sure nice to be, sure nice to welcome Twin Ring Montegi back to racing. You recall it was a long time host for the Pokemon NASCAR series. Now it's a host for the IndyCar series, and it's done way better. And already we can see cars going three wide to start the race. Turn three is going to be pretty tight. Here they come. Oh man! There they go. Big crash, a big wreck in the back. The caution is out. Just like that. They were going a little too aggressive. They were going right four, five wide to start the race. And that always happens. That always, like, they always tend to wreck out. And a little bit of a traffic jam with Brandon Nichols. <laughs> They're both trying to push, Kirker's trying to push out Brandon Nichols out of his way. Why not just turn left and avoid the traffic? Tough luck for them. They're stuck and they're unstuck. And Jay Jefferson is um, back out. Weird. Joshua Michaels leads to the yellow. I think he led to the caution. Yes, he did. What an eventful start to this race. Braley's out. Skinner's out. Milliken is out. Pichu's out in his home country. 35th dead last. The exact opposite of what happened in last race, by the way. <laughs> Fitzwater won in Australia for his home country. Last race, and this race for Pichu in his home country, he finished dead last. Wow, that is just roller coaster. Talk about a roller coaster ride in front in involving our foreign born drivers. Just unbelievable. But anyway, Joshua Michaels leads us to the green. Lap six. Hopefully, things get a little bit less crashy. Ah. Uh, just disappointing Pichu in his home country finished dead last, but what can you do? At least we got Fitzwater who won last race in his home country, so no talk to that, any talk to that at least for this race is gone, but still have a good race coming up. We have another wreck in the middle of the pack. Oh wow! Look at the Oh! Winston is stuck up high! Wow! Did he catch? He just caught the catch fence. That is one of the strangest wrecks I've ever seen. Did you see that? He just caught the catch fence. Look at this. Wow, it looked like it was going to go off the track. Wow, are you kidding? I'm shocked. Devin Winston. Wow, that's got to be the wreck of the year. That has. This has to be... The crash of the year. He is just hanging there. That has that that has got to be unsafe. Man, Montegi is way fast and way wreckful. I honestly didn't expect this to be a crash fest at all. When we raced in Montegi, yes, there were crashes, but it, with the Pokemon NASCAR stock cars. Yeah, there were crashes, but not like this. Oh, the open wheel cars just can't handle the high banking and high speeds of Twin Ring. Let's see why the caution had to come out first in the first place. We saw a wreck in the middle, and this is where it began. Tony Green. John Andrews involved. Oh, no. Brendan Nichols in it. And one wheel fell off a car. I don't even know who it is. It's not Devin Whiston. He has all four wheels on him. And
And the leader is Kamika Jazzin. Jazzin took the lead under the yellow. I just couldn't focus on that, man. All those drivers wrecking out. We'd see wrecks in a road course, a lot of wrecks in road courses, but not like in an oval like this. But still, though, Devin Winston has got to have the wreck of the... That has to be the wreck of the year. <laughs> of the, Well, that has to be the wreck of the year. Him hanging out on the catch fence like that? Man. Not sure what will it take to get the wreck of the year. Finally, a clean run. That's a real sigh of relief. Oh. I knew it. We have a wreck. I thought we were clean. Dang it, I thought we were clean. Great. Thank you, Cody Smart. Thank you, other two drivers, for causing another wreck near the start-finish line. We were just about to get a clean run going, guys. Thanks. Zach Fitzwater, can he go back-to-back -back wins? If he does, that'd be very shocking. He just won at Porter Park. Oh, side-by-side -side to the line. Bumper to bumper. Big spin. Roller spins out by Jason. Wow, this is just a lot of fireworks here today. Man, had there been a lot of fireworks for the lead today. Nobody retired? I'm surprised. And that means we're going to see a lot more wrecks coming up. Four to go. This is going to be the race for the win. Will Fitzwater go back to back? If he does, it'd be a miracle. It'd be a very, very shocking surprise if he does. We're green again here at Twin Ring with four to go, and maybe a chance for Fitzwater to go back to back if another wreck happens in the middle, which I'm sure, with all the carnage that has been happening in right behind us, I'm sure it's going to happen again. So far, so good, we're clean. Here comes Acosta. Ooh, I thought we'd see a wreck. We stay green, three to go. Just to be clear, just to make sure, yes, we stay green. And looks like Fitzwater is not gonna get the benefit of a yellow. Was able to hold off a clean green flag run in Boulder Park at the end. Able to hold on for the win. We'll see if things go out differently. Two to go. Side by side. Joshua Michaels wants a win again. Second place, Brian Acosta. Acosta was a former champion in this series. Two-time champion. He might just go for three this season. I haven't checked the points in a long time, to be honest with you, so... It might be different. Fitzwater with bump. Here he comes. White flag. Oh no, Fitzwater spins. He spun out the lead. White flag is out for Acosta. What a finish. Oh man, Fitzwater wrecked out on the final lap. He just can't make this stuff up. Oh, that's a tough break. Fitzwater crashes out with Joshua Michaels. Oh, wow, that is just depressing. Are they going to race it back? It appears they might not. Acosta is away, and he has got no competitors behind him. Final corner, Ryan Acosta, former two-time champion, is going to win at Motegi. And who's going to get second? Very long ways to go. And Matthew Amdev looks like he's going to get second. Ryan Acosta, thanks to the wreck in the back that brought out the final caution. Acosta pulls away to the victory. An easy win for him in Twin Ring. There's the pace car. <laughs> Wonder why it took so long. But man, what a finish. Fitzwater was almost on the verge of going back to back. And then he got taken out by Joshua Michaels. Oh, that's a tough break. But anyway, what a race, what a finish. Can't wait to go back to Montague when the Pullman IndyCar Series begins. 
Anyway, that's it for our world tour. Three races left. Three weekends are left. We have Road America. That's up next. Then we have the duel in Detroit and Belle Isle. And finally, the greatest spectacle of racing, the Indianapolis 500. Hope you'll join us for those three. We will see you at Road America.